Previously on Minecraft Story Mode. There is a key difference between a good friend and a bad one. Good friends do what you ask. They enjoy what you make for them. They never betray you. Jesse is a perfect example of what we call a bad friend. Other bad friends include, in no particular order, Fred and Zara. Ultimately, all losers who refuse to appreciate the gifts they've been given. Now me, I won't stand for ingratitude. So I took my gifts away. Oh, but then, then, just when I thought I'd found a promising new friend, such a disappointment. That is when I had a brilliant idea. The perfect way to weed out the bad friends from the good. To be appreciated. I became Jesse. I was right, of course. The plan worked immediately. Jesse's good friends flocked to me. Of a better Jesse. And now poor Jesse is dead, having never learned his lesson. The saddest part of all, really, is that Jesse will never get to see how much better I've made Beacon Town. <laughs> oh, yes! <laughs> these tunnels into town. Speaking of fighting admins, I can't help but wish we still had Zara around. I know she was... well, she was a little much. But having an ex-admin on our side seems like it could have come in handy. Oof, I guess. She still scared me, though. I think Zara's already done plenty in the fight against Romeo. And she's been at it a lot longer than we have. She deserves a break. Yeah, that's fair. Uh, maybe Zara's lucky being where she is right now. She's not currently marching towards a fight with the Admin. I'm just glad that friends of Fred stayed at the entrance to that... that Heckmouth. This is far too dangerous for them. Yeah. Jesse, when Romeo finds out what we're trying to do, we've seen what he does. I don't want to end up like Fred. I don't want Beacon Town to be like Zara's town. We've seen so many terrible things that Romeo's done. I just can't even handle thinking about that happening to the others. To our home. Just remember, Petra, things look bad for us. But who knows what horrible things are happening to our friends, the people in Beacon Town right now. A uh, great pep talk? I know it seems hopeless, but we can't give up now. There are people up there counting on us, and we are not going to let them down. Hear me? Yeah, I hear you. Let's do it. Woo! My, that was loud. Here we go.
you guys want to bet that's where the primary terminal is? The giant floating tower with no clear entrance? Yeah, probably. We've got to find a way up there. Might be a good idea to hit the map shop. Regroup, get some supplies. Yeah, yeah, that sounds good. with Axel and Olivia. We gotta hide. <sighs> Typical. Heading exactly where we wanted to go. Then I guess we just can't get caught. Why exactly are we having a whole festival devoted solely to you? Do we really have to go up on stage with you in front of everyone? Enough! You two are gonna need to do a lot less talking and a lot more agreeing if you want to be a part of Beacon Town. Not so sure I do, actually. In fact, we were just about to head home. I'd be very careful if I were you guys, or there might not be a home to go back to. At all. It's just so easy for something bad to happen to a town. Like Champion City, for example. And boom! isn't the real you, but... But nobody else knows that. What if everyone in Beacon Town turns on you? I mean, with what just happened outside, Axel and I almost did. And we're your oldest friends. I mean, if we couldn't tell, I... Look, the admin is good, but he's not good enough to have everyone fooled, right? It's a pretty good Jesse impression. I mean, a totally evil version, but... Yeah. But you said there's a way to stop this guy, right? Petra! Stella sucks even when she's on our side, but nobody deserves that. Ever. Her whole city. Gone. In an instant. It's insane. Nobody should have that much power. Add it to the list of horrible things the admin's gonna pay for. So glad you guys are okay. 
Did Jesse tell you about the potato yet? The what? In the underneath, we got our hands on something called a word of passage. Hashtag potato 451. I know it sounds weird, but it's supposed to take away the admin's powers for good. Oh, I can't wait to see his face when that happens. Look at the state of my poor shop. I'm almost glad Nermi doesn't have to see the old girl looking like this. Is it even safe to hide out in here? <laughs> yeah, it used to be the safest place around. That was before the admin's goons were everywhere. Nothing to worry about. We've got our best fighter here with us. As much as I appreciate the <coughs> completely accurate compliment, this is the admin we're talking about. Getting into that tower won't be easy. Hopefully, there's still something useful in here. Everyone, take a look around. Shout if you find anything. While you guys do that, I'm gonna keep watch. Doing okay, Luna? <coughs> yeah, I know it's scary. We're gonna get through it, though. Poor llama. <coughs> Nobody wanted to take these. Too bad they don't help us, though. You okay there, Jack? Ah, uh, fine, I guess. Just feeling a little violated at someone coming in here and robbing the place. Priceless artifacts and mementos gone. Everything ransacked. I don't know if it was the admin, looters, what I... Uh, Hey, it's just stuff, right? You can replace it. I guess that's true. Some of it was pretty... valuable, irreplaceable stuff, though. Kinda like... part of my identity. Yeah, I... I know how that feels. Yeah... I suppose you do. Hm. In the meantime, we'll keep looking around. Might be something useful in here yet. Ah... Uh. Thanks, Jesse. I appreciate it. I don't think we're going to be able to read our way up to the tower. Hey, Binta. Adjusting okay? Just looking at scraps from some of the places Jack has been. Maybe someday I'll get to see them. If we defeat Romeo, that is. We will. Let me know if you find anything useful. Of course. You really think that someone might try to get in? Don't know. Not taking any chances. It's like our home is still here, but it's not home, you know? Hey, we'll make things right, okay? Yeah, I know. But seeing what happened to Champion City has me a little more worried than I'd like, you know? I'll be fine. Go help Jack. Wow. I was worried all the parrots had left Beacon Town. Who, Archie? Oh, he'd never leave. Oh, is he yours? Watching him for a friend. Let's just leave it at that. Hey, you two. What's up, Jesse? You two haven't seen Lucas around, have you? We got separated when the admin zapped us to his prison. No, he... he's just been... missing. Kinda went underground. I'm... I'm sure he's okay, though. When you thought the admin was me, did he tell you anything? About... a terminal, maybe? No. The guy's a jerk. Never answered a single question. He does spend a lot of time in that floating tower, though. 
Would she never let us go to? What brought you both back to Beacon Town? Yeah, we, uh, we heard something weird was going on. I had no idea how weird until we saw the lava, though. I'm gonna keep looking around. Okay, they'll be here, keeping an eye out. <laughs> forgotten about that stash. Are these... Elytra wings? Those are super rare. Yeah. Got them one time when I made a trip to the end. Nothing better for gliding. What was that? Sight again, Derm. Never again. <laughs> but how did you get out of that prison? Because I broke them out. Ah. Ah. Ivor, what on earth were you just doing, hanging out up there? Jesse, I'm a ninja. Where else would I be? That is a nice outfit, Ivor. I know. Thank you. Oh, oh my, oh my gosh. Do you know who that is? That is Ivor founding freaking member of the Order of the Freaking Stone. That is a legend, standing in front of us, Nurm, within arm's reach. And my shop is a complete wreck. Trust me, Jack. Best thing around Ivor? Just be yourself. Uh, yeah, that, uh, that makes a whole lot of sense. Thanks, Jesse. Well, here goes. Ivor? Of the Order of the Stone? Whew. This is quite the pleasure. Ha! Huh. Well, yes! Of course it is! And you are... Oh, me? Oh, I'm, uh, the, uh, the, uh, stock, the, uh, stab, well, from the... I'm, uh... <laughs> nobody. Uh, how are you? <laughs> He's Jack. Oh, well, hello! Always nice to meet a fan. <gasps> uh, <clears throat> yeah. Anyway, I am happy to report that your plan for the admin worked perfectly for my deception hook, line, and sinker. My story about you dying in your escape attempt? Admin loved it. And after the admin's appetite for Jesse's destruction was satisfied, I returned to the prison by cover of night to free your friend from that cursed place. Between both of our enormous intellects, we figured out a simple way to disarm maximum security and escape without being blown to smithereens. It was incredibly difficult and took many, many days of intense mental activity. And a very large hole in the side of the Sunshine Institute, which I'm sure no one will notice. Hey. Well, you're a hero, Nurm. Jack should watch out. You might start stealing his glory. Nurm, the Sunshine Rock. Ooh. Now that the team is back together, Ivor, we need to stop the admin. We're supposed to use our word of passage at the primary terminal. Jesse thinks it's up in the tower. Yes, I believe that's exactly where it is. I've heard him reference such a thing several times. No one thinks to check for eavesdropping ninjas. I have learned a lot of information that way. I'm glad it's easy to find, but it's floating up in the air. Indeed, which ooh, poses a problem perhaps. Just, uh, you sure we can't, like, reason with this admin guy? You know, I'm talking out. You? Wanting to talk it out? Jesse taught me to keep the explosions in Boomtown. Well, that's not... You can't reason with this guy, Axel. Trust me. Yeah. Some people just don't want to be reasoned with. As soon as this guy sees us, he'll just blink us out of existence. I'm formulating a plan. We just need a distraction. Maybe a distraction like Jesse's big speech at the start of JesseCon? That sounds great, but Elytra wings don't exactly go up. 
they do with fireworks. Nerm, think you could get me a map of Beacon Town? Hmm. Here's the plan. Like Jack said, we need fireworks. Which the admin has stockpiled backstage at the event! Wait, isn't Stella in charge of fireworks for this thing? Perfect. We'll never get backstage without fireworks guild uniforms. So we find Stella, and she shows us where they are. I'll grab them. We suit up, and boom! Backstage passes. Once we're there, we swipe some fireworks. Wait, what am I doing? You're gonna be getting me a bucket of water. We'll get to that. While we're getting the fireworks, Axel and Olivia will distract the admin. Are you sure I can't just blow up the stage? Uh, that would be distracting. Axel? Then we wait until the big fireworks finale. The what? It's Romeo. I promise you, there will be a huge fireworks finale. Petra and Jack will wait in the order hall. The second those fireworks go off, I go airborne. Once I land, I use the bucket of water to create a waterfall. Oh, I was wondering what it was for. And the three of us will head into the tower and use hashtag potato451 to strip the admin of his powers before he even knows more. See? Piece of cake. That uh, might just be the best crazy I've heard in a while. Jesse, this could work. Explosions, excitement, explosions. I love it! This all starts with getting Stella to help us, though. Yeah, she's pretty tight with that admin guy. Is she a friend of yours? She did seem kinda awful. Yeah, I'm not so sure about that one. You're wrong. Stella might have caused a lot of trouble in the past, but I know I got through to her in the Sunshine Institute. We can trust her. Sure hope you're right about that. Well, Stella does know where the Fireworks Guild uniforms are. I could follow her to them and then we wouldn't have to talk. Great! Can I say how much I don't like this plan? You can, because you're staying here. Only Jesse stands a chance on the streets because Jesse is the admin! You don't exactly look like the you we saw earlier. You'll have to change. Jesse, I know you think Stella's on our side, but you can't trust her, okay? Be careful. I think Jesse should be more worried about the admin showing up during this plan. Good luck, friend. One serving of admin coming up. I can do this. What is that for? Uh-huh. This place just keeps getting weirder and weirder. Hey, 
away. Why did you destroy his home? What did Champion City do to you? Destroying homes left and right? Absolutely no regard for people's lives? What kind of leader is that? It wasn't me. It was someone disguised as me. Psh, sure, deny any accountability. You really have changed. Oh, I need this to end once and for all. <laughs> I did it, Jesse. I did what you asked. Now there are pork chops for everyone. Would you like to taste one? I made it myself. They're fresh. I promise. No, how could you? No, no more pork chops. No more. But, but, but you, but it was, I was, okay. I'm so sorry. Hope that didn't get this guy in trouble. Glad Romeo didn't touch this at least. What are these for? Jesse, dude! Just unveiled the new statue you built, <laughs> yeah. It's got, um, character? Yeah, I kinda liked the old one, but... Whoa! Hey, I mean, you know what? This one is totally rad. I cannot keep my eyes off it, <laughs> yeah. You know what? I change my mind. Let's bring the old one back, shall we? Dude! I can't wait to see it again! Not that, you know, this one wasn't... Like, go with your gut, dude! Especially if it wants the old one back, yeah! Righteous! Thanks, Jesse, dude! You there, Nelly, what happened to my statue? Uh, the one you just tore down because your gut told you to? What? What are you talking about? What is she talking about? Like two seconds ago, you, you, you were... You want to blame your insolence on me? Golems, take her away! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Calm yourself, dude. Like, take some deep breaths, okay? <sighs> Oh, no. Nell.
fireworks and banners. It's not my fault. I I'm understaffed. Then hire more people. Force them, conscript them, I don't care. Jesse Khan will be the greatest thing this town has ever seen, or I will personally ensure you pay the price. Where the heck am I supposed to get more people? Bingo, that's our ticket in. It's now or never. Perfect, now we can. Oh, gravel, where are those extra Jesse banners? Oh! Stella! Jesse, back so soon. Since when do you... Hmm, you're not the admin, are you? Hmm? 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 It's no use hiding the truth. I am not the admin. For I am actually the real bona fide... Jesse! I knew it! Keep your voice down, all right? I am so glad you're back. Pretending to be the other Jesse's loyal servant has been exhausting. Wait, why am I just finding out now you're back? Don't you trust me, Jesse? I thought you'd move past your competitive nature with me. I am part of your core gang. I hate being left out of the loop like this. Surely you have a reason I'm not seeing. I wanted to, but it wasn't safe to contact you with you being so close to the admin. Oh, you were protecting me. We are such best friends. Look, Stella, I need these uniforms to defeat the admin. I don't have time to explain all the... No problemo, friendo. Carry on with your top secret mission. I won't spill anything to the admin. I happen to be an excellent actor. I shall get into character. Let's just, uh, separate, okay? Roger that. Exeunt stage left. Olivia and Axel with me, don't I? Oh. Who are you? Yes, thanks, Jesse. We love being your best friend. Don't we, Axel? Oh, yeah, totally. The resemblance is uncanny. It's amazing. More like terrifying. What's wrong, Binta? The admin. He's right there, right in front of me. All the suffering he's caused, killing Fred, inflicting sorrow on my people. He's so close. I could just charge the stage and take my justice now. Standing here idly, seeing that smile somehow makes it even more unbearable. I want payback too, but we've got to do this right. That's why we need to get to that tower, use the word of passage, and hit him where it hurts. You're right. I've waited this long. And as Jesse, you're Jesse, I'm glad we Let's as a go team to work. can come together to celebrate me. Of course it was mandatory, but I sensed that you wanted to come anyway. So thank you for understanding just how important I am to you. No one permitted back here except... Fireworks union, huh? Jeez, well, get back there then. Thank you. Now we can get to our jobs that we're totally qualified to do. I'll find a bucket and report back. Good luck. I hope you can pull this off. No fireworks. Just stuff. Come on. Who plans a convention with no fireworks? 
That's like planning a birthday party without, you know. See? The admin's human. He's messy, just like us. Yeah, he's a slob. Big whoop. But wh what are we supposed to do with no fireworks? I guess we'll just need to make some. There has to be enough supplies to craft some paper around here. Then, all we need is gunpowder. And a fireworks star. Oh, that would really add some flash. We'll keep a lookout on the exits and stage. Invisibility potions. You'll have to take my word for it. They're fantastic. And, um, apparently long-lasting. Wait, you had invisibility potions this whole time? Yes, but Ninja Law says you must wait for the most dramatic time to use them. What? Why? I don't know. I'm not a ninja lawyer. Do you have any more? More what? Invisibility potions. Uh, nope. Sadly, I drank my last one to surprise you here. But I'll be watching you. From the shadows. Ow. Okay, at least it looks like the fireworks union guys already dropped off the fireworks stars. Which one should I take? Correctly, this one will give me a super cool orange ball shaped firework. Huh, a copy of Lucas's book. Whoever owns this chest must be a fan. is brighter. Cows are happier. Pie is sweeter. I actually don't even think it's possible for you to thank me enough. Ooh, sugar cane. Hey, you hearing this doof? Which proves I'm the greatest thing ever to happen in all your lives. Let's look at the mathematical proof. What a self-absorbed... Ugh. Only for a little while longer. Yeah, we'll get Beacon Town back. I can feel it. How are those fireworks coming? Oh, they're coming. This place is just kind of messy. Well, just be like the noble light of truth and shine through the darkness of the mess. Only then will you scatter the shadows and reveal your goal. Yeah, I'll work on that. Good to hear, friend. I'll keep on keeping an eye out. Guess that's part of the show. Admin Me has taste in after-speech entertainment. Stupid. Gunpowder. Perfect. Okay, let's get crafting.
there's a firework. Nice. Now I just need to... Hey, Glenn, I... Wait a minute. You ain't Glenn. And you ain't... Huh? Yeah. That felt... That felt good. Really good. Come on. Don't pretend you didn't love it. You want vengeance, too. I did what I had to do. We've come too far to second-guess ourselves. And we can't let anyone get in our way. Even if it's a bystander. You can't take all your anger out on that one guard. He was just doing his job. Yeah, you're right. Technically. But his job shouldn't be pulling his sword on us. Ha! Huh, not bad. Yeah, I think we've given Binta a bit of a taste for combat. Did you get the bucket? Right here. Good luck up there. I'm going to check on my people. You're welcome back here when this is over. Thank you, Jesse, for everything. Fireworks ready? need to oh perfect just what I needed ah, too slow dummy come at me ugly uh oh Whew, that was close okay time to get the others I'm glad to see that waterfall. Yeah, we were getting kind of nervous down there. Sorry, the welcoming committee was a little strict. Come on, let's get inside. Freaky, right? This place is dead. Definitely strange. Though I imagine you might be relieved to have a little quiet right now, huh? I was almost expecting, I don't know, another huge boss battle or something when we got in here. Yeah, the admin definitely seems to like those. But nothing. Nah, it's kind of hard to relax when you're in the middle of infiltrating a humongous tower, owned by a deadly madman as you try to find his office and take away his powers. That's... fair.
Would you look who it is? <laughs> Come out and play! Uh, hey guys, what's going on? Stand down, Ocelots! Lucas! Looks like the tables have finally turned, huh, Jesse? We can't let you keep doing what you're doing. That's enough now. Oh, sorry. Oh man, I am loving that you brought the Ocelot jackets back. You guys look so cool. It's not just about looking cool, Jesse. It's a symbol for the people of Beacon Town to rally around in our rebellion against you. Now, hang on, everyone. No. It's our turn to talk. Not yours. Not anymore. I reformed the Ocelots because I wanted to remind everyone of how things were before. And most of all, I wanted to remind you. No, Because but... the Jesse I know wouldn't be running around on some power trip locking people up. Lucas. So yeah, I set your prisoners free. What are you going to do about it? Yeah, and telling us our builds were ugly. It wasn't me that locked you all up, it was the admin! Wait, what? No, you said you defeated the admin. Everything you think I've told you since I came back from the Ice Palace was a lie. The admin locked me in a prison underground, took my identity, came back here, and pretended to be me. That is... No, how do we know this isn't a trick? No trick, friend. And it's not the first time. My friend Voss, the admin did the same thing with him. Yeah, we saw the whole thing. Is this really true? All those horrible things you did that... Okay. Yeah. It's you. Well, now that we have that sorted out... What in the world are we gonna do next? Wait, why are you even in here? We're trying to get to something called the Terminal. We have a word of passage. <coughs> Potato. That we can apparently use to take away the admin's powers for good. Yeah, a lot of that was way over my head, especially the potato, but I'm in. You just lead the way, and the new ocelots will have your back. <laughs> well, would you look at this? Romeo's quite the Jesse memorabilia collector. I know we don't have much time, but it might be smart to suit up properly. Agreed. Romeo won't know what to do when I'm coming at him in this one. Now that's armor for an admin confrontation. Perfect blend of stealth and style. It's like armor from the future. I love the gold accents on this one. but ferocious. I bet Eligard wouldn't even believe in an admin. Ah, the armor of Tim. I think I once heard Radar say this one was his favorite. That could be the admin's bane, too. Adamantium and Pervium, don't fail me now. Now! You look like...
like you're ready for a showdown. Agreed. Oh, thanks, guys. Time to end this. Ocelots! Okay, if I were a terminal, what would I look like? Why, hello there. Wasn't expecting you. Oh, crud. What's the move here, Jesse? Maybe you're confused, but this is my office. Heard there might have been people trying to break in, so here I am. Ocelots, charge! Excuse me? Where are they? Where'd they go? Oh, I am so upset that you're back. That wannabe ninja, Ivor, told me you were dead. Hearing that made me feel great. This? This makes me feel... Ugh, bad. And that's your fault. Yes, it was just a temporary case of death. Oh, you smug, arrogant, insignificant. What, pray tell, are you hoping to accomplish by challenging me? I don't know if you've noticed, but I'm just a touch more powerful than you. I know. That's why I'm not here to fight you. I want to talk this over. Jesse, a uh, Jesse. Ugh, talking it out? What's the point in that? That's what losers do. Real people, awesome people, settle their differences with... with... combat, dueling, build-offs. Not, ugh, discourse and debate. No, you're not doing any talking right now. Right now, you're just gonna shut up and listen. Nah, -uh, you don't tell me what to do. That's not how this works. <sighs> you know what? It's just as well you're back. Because being Jesse is the worst. Oh yes, yes, I said it. I hate being you. Your, your people, your friends, they're so needy, so clingy. I have to listen to their stupid voices day after day after day, just asking for things. I, mean, I, I thought being Jesse meant that people would do what I wanted to do. No one ever asks what I want. Ah, oh, it's all, can I have iron and can I have gold? And what are they using all that stuff for anyway? Well, I'm back now. I, I, I can help you take back over? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I suppose you could. Yeah. It's just... But it was fun at first. I show them some super amazing display of my awesome powers. They'd laugh. I'd laugh. But soon they were just asking me to do that all the time. You know what's funny? You've made me see something. I mean, it's starting to feel like maybe I should just leave being Jesse to you. You know? <laughs> the, the, the genuine article. <laughs> yeah, but maybe that is the best way to proceed. I'm really glad you think so, because I think that's a good idea. Oh, thanks, Jesse. I appreciate that. Well, this has all been terribly enlightening, and I, I think we've all learned some great lessons here that I will totally remember for next time. Next time? Yeah, the, the next world I build after I bedrock over yours. Oh, I'm going to get it totally right with that one. No! A whole new set of people. A whole new world. Oh, I'll be a great leader, a great friend next time around. I should thank you for all these, these wonderful little lessons you've helped me to learn. Oh, maybe, maybe I'll have more fjords in the next one. Oh, I love a good fjord. There's no way I'm letting you do this. Oh, well, you don't really have much of a choice, do you? <laughs> Sorry, but it's time to start fresh. Make a new world. Oh, well. 
Toodles! Oh, this doesn't seem good. Oh, you guys are okay. Yeah, he just blipped us back to the hallways again. Such a... Whew, such a jerk. to the terminal thing. Go! Come on! We need to get to that portal before the bedrock closes up. We're here. Yeah, but we don't know where here is. Is that the clock from the admin's tower? Yeah, <clears throat> I mean, uh... I, uh, found the Colossus. The trip down memory lane is nice and all, but how do we find the primary terminal thingy? There is so much stuff in here. Yeah, kinda hard to make sense of it all. Uh-huh, well, it's the admin's place, right? So what would he do? He'd probably know where he was going, so... Admin protocol initiated. It's him! No, oh, it's just more of his stupid recordings. You've selected admin protocol. Oh, it's like a automatic assistant or something. Welcome to Terminal Space. Well, shall we? So, wait, he has this whole assistant thing set up, but only he ever comes here? The automated personal assistant system was developed to aid the mighty admin in menial tasks and help his friends navigate the terminal space. Man, so when he first made all this, he was still hoping his friends would come here too. Kinda makes me feel bad for him, actually. Is that...? Please enter your password to begin a new program. I... that was all over my head. Password, password, password. That must be the word of passage. Hashtag potato451.
Guess we need to put something in there to get this thing going. It's empty? Waiting for material request. I mean, it must be talking about the potato, right? Sounds right to me. Uh, potato? Please? Acquiring... Potatoes! Items dispensed. Thank you! Wait, two potatoes? Yeah, a normal one and a poisoned one. Which one do we use? I mean, the word of passage didn't say anything about poison. But it did have that weird hashtag thingy. That might mean something? Oh, I don't think that symbol ever actually means anything. Hmm. Gotta figure out which one is correct. Huh. What is this thing? And what does it have to do with Potato 451? Guess we need to put something in there to get this thing going. Exactly right. And there we go. I still need to enter the rest of the word of passage. Won't know if this is right or not till I do. Exactly right. Sounds like progress, right? Was that a good thud or a bad thud? It's... Fred? Zara, hi. If you're seeing this recording, well, I guess the worst has happened. And you just put the word of passage into the primary terminal. I wish the terminal could just take away Romeo's admin powers. It'd be easier that way. But making this gauntlet was the best I could do. Put your hand into the pedestal to receive the gauntlet. It's got the power to make Romeo... normal again. It might take a few hits to remove his powers entirely, but it'll get the job done. Do you understand? Then good luck, Sara. You're... Well, I think you might need it. Well, here goes nothing. What do you think you're doing? We're here to stop you, Romeo, once and for all. 
I told you! Your world's done! No take that! Jesse, hurry! Temple? Kalu Kale, Jesse. Remember when we first met? Oh. That was back when I thought we could still be friends. Huh. Figures. This temple, this challenge, was my first gift to you. Now, it's going to be where I bury you.
see me? Our friendship's got on a little rocky on this adventure, hasn't it? Little worn thing. I wonder who did that. I'm not listening to you, admin. No? That's a shame. Here I thought it would be a nice way of working through some things. special, Romeo. Powers don't make anyone special. It's who you are, how you act. Don't you judge me! You don't get to judge me! Give me that! Uh, that that's, that's the cause, always! Uh, let go! Through, admin. It's over. You can say that again. How's that level playing field feel, huh, jerk? Get away from me!
you beat me? I am gonna destroy you! Once I get my hands back on that gauntlet! You have to go and make everything so difficult. Everyone likes you, and you're nothing. Hey, we're not the ones trying to rule the world. What? No, no, I'm not. I just, I just wanted people to. is held together by my powers. No more powers. No more terminal zone. <laughs> We're doomed. We're gonna get buried if we don't get out of here pronto. What about him? What about him? He's not our problem anymore. But look at him. He'll never make it out of here on his own. Oh, she's right. Just... just leave me. My power... It was just frosting on a, on a cake. An empty, worthless cake. No, this is where I belong. This is where I'll pay for what I've done. I can't believe that, that this is what it took for me to realize. Oh, I've been just so stupid, so blind. That's not up to you. You've hurt a lot of people. Well then, what, what are you going to do with me? Jesse, now's the time. We gotta go. Go on, leave me. I deserve to stay in this oblivion. You're not staying here. That would be the coward's way out. Come on. Yeah, and not a minute too soon. Oh my gosh! It's such a following me, right? Right? 
Nah, I think you're in the clear, Slim. Hey, nice work. Thank you. Sincerely. I hardly believe that I deserve to be here at all anymore. I do know what I need to do to make up for my crimes, though. I'm going to return to the underneath. Try to help all the people I left behind. Fix all the lives I... ruined. And I'm going to try and find Zara. See if I can't make things right between us. I mean, it doesn't make up for what I... What I did to Fred. But if I can heal things with Zara, well, it's something at least. And. and no more admin powers. Everything I do now will just be the normal way. I think you might want to stay away from her, Romeo. I honestly think she might just kill you if she sees you again. Well, then that's a risk I have to take. She's. sort of the only friend I have left. <laughs> Seems fitting that my only friend. Wants to kill me. Save the world again, huh? Doesn't that ever get old? Why, yes, thank you for noticing. Thought we'd fit in a light bit of world saving before afternoon pie time. Happy to see you all in one piece, too. Whoa, 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 whoa! Is that the admin? Is he. Don't worry, he's not the admin anymore. This is Romeo. Well, that's a relief. No more admins for me, thank you very much. I agree with that 112%, Blondie. But Jesse, after everything he did, do you... Do you really think he deserves to go free? What if he hurts more people? He might... He might have been better off where he was. Oh, he's free, but he's not going anywhere. He's gonna make up for all the bad stuff he's done. I foresee many, many hours of community service in his future. Like, thousands. What do you guys say we head home? I say, way ahead of you, friend. <laughs> me too. Man, I cannot wait to put on a shirt again. Approaching you from this direction and am coming to speak with you. No ninja trickery, hijinks, or tomfoolery here. Both my actions and my intentions are crystal clear. Huh. I think I can hear Ivor, but I don't see him. I'm right here! Hello! Clearly in view! Oh, there you are. Hi, Ivor. Yes, hello. Hmm. So, no more Ninja Ivor, then? Ha! Huh. No, no. I decided it was time to stop running around in my pajamas and start trying to fix a few messes. Starting with trying to heal the rift between my old friends. Magnus is easy. We'll just pop by Boomtown. Last I heard, Gabriel was doing the wandering warrior thing. Soren? No idea where he is, but I've got some leads. You can apologize, but they might not forgive you. I know, and they don't have to. Admitting my wrongs would be its own reward. Well, I suppose it's time for me to go. This has been fun, though, hasn't it? Jesse! 
Jesse, hey! What's up, Radar? I was just saying goodbye to... Guess ninja habits die hard. I, uh, hope you don't mind, but, uh, I've kind of been taking charge of the beautification project. I thought, why not at least make it look intentional? Really stepping it up to leader mode, if I do say so myself. And it's been... stressful, but also fun. So, like, fun, stressful, stress fun? You've definitely been stepping it up. I'm really proud of you. Oh, wow. This is best day. Whoa! Hey, Luna. Anyway, uh, so with Champion City gone, I was going to make Luna a new llama house and get her set up here in Beacon Town while I help out up there. But, uh, before I did, I thought I'd uh, double check and see if you'd already been planning on, you know, uh, watching out for her. Seeing, you know, that she likes you so much and all. If you've already built her a llama house when I haven't been around, I, I just wouldn't want to double up. Which, by the way, I'd be okay with you doing if you'd already built one. And if she wants to stick with me, it'll be my honor to keep taking care of her. I think she'll really like that. I always considered you a part of the family. Okay. Well, the <laughs> stupid emotions. I do want to sincerely thank you, Jesse, for everything. You saw me at my worst, and you still thought I was worth saving. That, well, that makes me want to try to be better at being my best. Hoping I can start by helping clean up this dump. Yeah, what can I say? I looked below the surface and saw that you probably weren't the worst all the way down. What was that about Stella being the worst? Ha! Huh? Hey! I was just telling Stella here that I would take care of Luna for her. Oh! Cool. Well, she seems very excited. Yes, and now I must go. Thank you again for everything. Sincerely. Now, you got everything you need. All packed and double-checked? Yes, Jack. This is very, I don't know, bittersweet for me, you know. Goodbyes are... No good. <sighs> that we have, Nermi. So, I won't say it this time. <laughs> Not to people that I will see again. <laughs> you got it. Come on, walk me to the gate. So, you're leaving, apparently? For how long? Honestly, probably a while. But, it's good this time. I'm doing it for me. I'm trying to, like, grow, or whatever. Anyway, I'm about to say goodbye to everyone, and I... Ah! Come here. I promised myself I wouldn't cry. Promise oh, broken. jeez. It'll be okay. So Petra's heading off into the Great Unknown, huh? <laughs> I figured. Definitely sounds exciting start a new town, find temples or dungeons or whatever you hack and slash types do. I bet Petra would extend the invite. You could go too. I appreciate that, but I think it's time I settled down here. I just got the ocelots back together. Thought maybe I'd work on a new book. Hey, you guys are missing out on prime group hug action. I don't think this is, like, the last time we'll all be together, do you? No. Well, maybe. I don't know. I mean, if Petra's leaving... Now, hang on. Let's not put all the pressure on me here. Well, I mean, until the world needs saving again. That always seems to act as a nice reunion. Well, hopefully... Hopefully not too soon, though. <laughs> okay. Well... I'm gonna get out of here before I... <laughs> Too late. Bye, guys. Be safe out there, okay? The safest. And...
Then when you finish that book of yours, I better have a great part in it. Uh huh. <laughs> Back in the admin's cabin, I, I know you promised that we'd always stick together. But the invite's still open if you want it. No pressure. Wait, you're leaving? Yeah, I think Petra and I are gonna hit the road for a while. <gasps> Sounds pretty awesome, right? Yeah, yeah, I mean, I mean it does, but, but without you here, who will run Beacon Town? Things are peaceful now, but danger could still strike at any time. Uh, the people could, uh, they could revolt or something. Who do you think, pal? You! Me? Really? Yeah. I hereby promote you from intern to hero in residence. Thanks, boss. This, uh, you have been, you are. What I'm trying to say is that I promise I'll make you proud. You already have. Everyone's going to miss you, you know? And I'm going to miss them too. But if anyone ever really needs me, I'll be around. Come on, Luna. You'd be interested in a race? Ah, 